the uterus or the womb. It's a pear-shaped organ, which is about 7.5 centimeters long and about 4.5 centimeters broad and about 3 centimeters thick. And it weighs about 60 grams in non-pregnant adult female, which is of course an average number. Now the uterus is divided into four parts. The fundus, the upper part, and then the body or the corpus, the isthmus, and the cervix. And the uterus is composed of three layers. The inner layer near to the lumen is the endometrium, and it's composed of epithelial layer plus a mucous membrane. And on itself, it's divided into two, a basal layer and a functional layer. And the functional layer is the hormone-sensitive layer, which gets sloughed off during the menstrual cycle. And then the second layer is the myometrium and it's responsible for the whole thickness and it's composed mainly of smooth muscles and then we have the perimetrium which is derived from the visceral peritoneum and now the situation of the uterus the uterus is situated anteriorly to the rectum and posteriorly to the bladder. Now let's discuss the axis of the uterus. Now this is the vagina, this is the cervix and this is the uterus. This is the axis of the vagina, this is the axis of the cervix and this is the axis of the uterus. Now when the long axis of the uterus is bent forward on the long axis of the vagina, this is what we call antiversion. And when the long axis of the body of the uterus is bent forward on the long axis of the cervix, we call this anti-flexion. So the normal axis of the uterus is anti-flexed, anti-verted. Now the blood supply of the uterus. So this is the abdominal aorta, this is the common iliac artery, and the internal iliac artery, so the branches for the uterine artery comes from the internal iliac artery and also there is a direct branches from the abdominal aorta which goes to the ovaries which is the ovarian arteries which makes anastomosis with the uterine arteries and also supplies the uterus now the uterus drains to the uterine venous plexus into the internal iliac vein and finally with the innervation it gets a sympathetic innervation from what we call the inferior hypogastric plexus it's from T11 and T12 and the parasympathetic comes from S2, S3 and S4 sacral segments and I think this is all about the basics of the anatomy of the uterus.